Thursday night, September 12th, Rappler reported about 80 MNLF rebels waved a white flag and surrendered to police forces in Barangay, Santa Barbara. Most of the rebels were from Basilan and they brought with them 35 hostages ready to be released. A man who introduced himself to Rappler as Paulo Casa, an MNLF member under Commander George Ismael, says he initiated the surrender when he approached government troops positioned across the street around 6.30 p.m. When Rappler received the information, the police had yet to notify their regional commander or Interior Secretary Mar Rojas, who is in the city as part of the crisis committee. Rojas denied the report when asked by media men. Members of the Philippine National Police, the Presidential Anti-Organized Crime Commission, and the Philippine Center for Transnational Crime accepted the surrender. All of the men who surrendered, as well as their hostages, waited all night to be quote-unquote processed by representatives of the crisis committee. Nothing happened. The MNLF rebels who surrendered, the police forces they surrendered to, and the people involved demand their story be told accurately and honestly. Rappler stands by its story and prays for a peaceful resolution of this crisis.